Yeah, 3,000. I think that means we're 3,000 meters up. It's so windy up here. This Glacier 3,000 video is following on from my Stad Switzerland vlog. So if you haven't already seen that, you can go and watch it after this video. There's a cliff right by there, a literal cliff drop. <sighs> This is when we first arrived at the Glacier 3000. Obviously, you arrive at the bottom, so you've got to get a massive gondola all the way up to the top. Uh, there's about 30 people in there with you um, because it's literally a huge gondola. I've never been in one like this before. And you go all the way up to the top. About halfway up, you then go onto a second gondola and that takes you up to the very top where the peak walk is and a lovely cafe and all of that stuff. Here we are at the top. It was very windy. It was snowing. It was stuck. Then in, look at the mountains, they are insane, and we started skiing straight away. just got on this lift then these are like my most hated lifts are those t-bar ones and um every time i go on them it's just a disaster if you saw it in my stad vlog uh, i dropped these pulls on this type of lift before matthew actually felt completely fell off the lift um and today it was a new thing hang on i gotta hold on at this part ah, sometimes you go too fast and then you've got to hold on because it's not on your butt properly. Me and Matthew actually did the exact same thing and we went to grab the orange this pole thing. Completely missed, it's supposed to be like under your bum, I completely missed it and I was just holding on. It's like you sit, I don't know if you can see that guy in front of me, but you got to sit on it and I was just holding on to that seat with my hands and it was just dragging me up the hill like this. And um, so I was like, oh my God, oh my God, turn around. So Matthew, I was like, what do I do? And then Matthew was doing the exact same thing as me. Great. I don't know if he copied me or if it just happened like that. We felt like 10 minutes. Up. I've been on this thing for ages. The first 10 minutes, I was trying to get my butt on the seat. Anyway, we did it in the end. Um, but the views around here are mental. We just skied down this bit then. It was so windy. Um, all the snow was just in my face. Anyway, oh my god, I'm off now. Now, this red run actually takes you down to the Black Wall, the infamous Black Wall, which is one of the steepest ski slopes in the world. I filmed a bit going down this red run um, when it was tame. And then when it got a bit extreme, I turned my camera off because full concentration was needed. <laughs> This is the infamous black wall. Um, if you type it in on YouTube anyway, you'll see how dangerous it really is. Um, the black wall is a 46 degree angle down. It's for expert skiers only. Basically you go down this massive tunnel, it goes all the way down and then you're on the steepest black slope ever. Um, as soon as you go down that tunnel, there is no point of return. None of us are brave enough to do this. Oh, he's brave enough. Oh my God, oh my God. We did see what was the other side of the black wall tunnel, uh, which was this extremely steep slope. The camera doesn't even do it justice here. We saw it when we were coming down in the gondola.
lunch with a view and a massive drop. This hot chocolate was actually unbelievable. It had rum in it and I know I'm going to shock some people right now but I am not the biggest fan of hot chocolate but I did like that one. Uh, we also had an apple tart which you just saw and here we are again and this is actually me vlogging from the other direction which you're just about to see. I thought I'd give you a little update. I don't know if you can hear a word I'm saying. If you can't hear me, I will do a voiceover. We're currently going up this lift. Um, if I had to give you one piece of advice when you're coming to Glacier 3000, wrap up warm because I can't even tell you how freezing cold and windy it is. The wind is constant and it's like ice. It's literally like you are frozen. My hands, my face, it just frozen so bad. Uh, we just stopped then for a lovely apple tart, uh, hot chocolate with rum and chocolate cake. That's what we had. And um, I was sat on like the edge of a cliff. No joke. Uh, it's over there somewhere. I, you would have seen it anyway. And um, I was so cold. Thankfully, they had blankets. So that really did help. But my hands are just like ice. If you come glacier 3000 do wrap up warm because you will freeze and um, if it wasn't for the sun on this gorgeous sunny day there's literally not a cloud in the sky uh, i don't know what you do because it's freezing cold today and the sun is shining the area that i'm in currently is all very spread out i think this is like the glacier walk all around here i think people there are a lot of hikers around here basically after you ski if you go down the wrong ski track like we did earlier we had to walk like on the flat with skis on for a good while. We found the rest of the group. Woohoo! Woo ah! There's some hikers coming up to the peak walk. It's really steep. It's such a struggle to walk in these ski boots. You literally can't walk, especially upstairs. Now, this is a hilarious part because I was trying to open this door with the door handle for ages and I realised about five minutes later uh, that there was actually no glass and you just had to walk through the door. Uh, so we laughed about that for a while. With these camera angles, you can really see my struggle to walk. Anyway, we made it in the end. We were all so out of breath. Um, we had to take five minutes before we could even look around because getting up those stairs was so hard. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some nice music now and let you enjoy this next bit. on that bridge absolutely petrifying and it's so 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 windy when you're in the middle we had a look around the gift shop we saw these really cute espresso mugs finn's actually collecting them if you've watched my uh, travel vlogs from the summer uh, finn's bought one like everywhere we went and they're so cute um so you should go and watch the summer vlogs because summer's coming everyone i know this is like a wintry video but summer is fast approaching um so if you want some holiday inspiration you should go and watch some of my travel vlogs from last summer 
Uh, there are so many, so I really hope you'll go and enjoy those maybe after a snowy video. Uh, anyway, I then had a look around. Look at the fog in between the mountains. So cool. Uh, I then went to the cafe and had a Coke and some crisps whilst Finn and Matthew still skied. Uh, I fell over at this point and I'd had enough of skiing. So I had a little break in the cafe, which was lovely. I sat right by a radiator, which was stunning. Um, and here I am again outside showing you the incredible views. I just couldn't get over these mountains. I know I've said it a hundred times. The Glacier 3000 was amazing. This is actually the next day, but I don't even know what the last thing in the Glacier 3000 video you watched was. I'm just going to do like a little chat about it now slash outro scenario you are literally so high up i can't even tell you um all i'd say is wrap up extremely warm because the wind is like ice and it's extremely windy up there where it was when i was but i imagine it's always windy because you are literally so high up the peak walk was amazing but finn doesn't even like heights but finn did it so maybe if you don't like heights you can go and conquer them there um be a pretty good place to test your height scenario. Like skiing there is rather hard and um, a lot of bits are like flat so you have to like walk uh, quite a lot but if you go to the left hand side of the mountain um, that's where the black wall is. Uh, you go down like a red run and then you come to the black wall which looks so scary. Uh, so if you do want to see what the black wall is like I'll link a black wall video below that I like to watch. Um, there's a really good one, I can't remember what it is right now, but I'll link it in my description thing because it's such a cool video, but I really think he's like a Red Bull athlete and that's why he made it look so easy, but it literally looks petrifying. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already watched my Stad Switzerland vlog, you can go watch that now, um, which is longer and probably very more entertaining um, because it's a whole load of mountains and Stad itself and everything all in one place. So I will see you very soon in my next video whenever that may be hopefully soon and um, so yeah see you then and like and subscribe <laughs>